Hey, Rocket Rolls, coming at you from the great, gorgeous Prince George's. I don't know, it's about 7 a.m. or something. About 7. Coming out of the gym. Ugh. About to go for a quick little ride. I would made a video um, a couple of days ago. Well, I made several, and um, the motor vlogs, some dirt riding, a couple of other, you know, little interesting activities, interesting topics, and then I decided that um, the files were too big, I didn't feel like going through the trouble of uploading them, you know, I would have had to do some editing and rendering and processing and blah 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 them other little things and I didn't really want to do all that so with the files being as large as they were because I do I'm still doing a lot of my editing on my phone and um decided I just remake the videos what the heck no harm no foul so you know like I said it was about 702 703 when I started this I don't know it might take me 10 15 minutes I gotta get down the road here to get to the dirt but um outside of that that's what this video is gonna be about Africa twin gravel roads and don't get excited folks it ain't no off-roading type exciting riding this is gonna just be some little gravel um, you might get lucky I might take a spill that'd be entertaining but, um, I think, uh, I don't know, I was, I think I did make a video talking a little bit about, you know, the financing of the bike and how, you know, a lot of people, and this is, you know, everybody has their own personal preference and I fully understand that. You, what you're comfortable with, that's what you need to do. And that was kind of the point, you know, and I'm just going to spend the next five minutes talking about that because it's going to take me that long to get to the dirt. But, um. If you want to buy all your bikes in cash, do it. If you want to finance your bikes, finance them. Hell, if you want to finance them at 25%, finance them at 25%. I don't give a damn. It's your money, your decision. Um, honestly, you know, I think inflation is going to pick up a little bit over the next few years compared to what it's been the last decade. So I think the market is going to get hot once we come out of the pandemic, which we are exiting out now as I speak. Um, yeah, but with that, there's no reason you can't finance vehicles. People finance homes every day and then turn around and swear you got to spend cash on other things that you purchase. And honestly, if you don't mind spending the money on the interest or if you get a no interest or a very low interest and by very low, I'm going to say anything under 4%. You're actually, from a financial perspective, saving money by financing presuming you've got some money somewhere sitting in an interest-bearing account that is um, growing and compounding so definitely for those of you with you know strong credit I'm not gonna say good bad great or whatever just strong credit roadkill you can't see it but I always do the little thing for the roadkill I don't know it's the thing I do but um yeah, if you can finance at a reasonable interest rate, it's a no-brainer. You should be financing your purchases. Now, if you don't have steady income, you know, and a lot of entrepreneurs, you get into that, you know, it's like that. Your money ebbs and flows. You get it in, you know, bulk or ad hoc, whatever payments and stuff. You know, it, um, it might not be practical or you might just not feel comfortable with that. And that's understandable as well. But, you know, most people with a job, and a steady paycheck financing might be a more rational um, rule of thumb for large purchases and you know motorcycles are definitely what is it doing what's that little light I don't remember what's it doing that little light is on it's disturbing me I don't remember what that light means not the traction control the ABS is on I don't remember what that is 
All right, let's accelerate. Accelerate's fine. Oh, well, the bike rides. I just don't remember what that light is. I'll think about it, it'll come to me. Yeah, but you know, financing is really not that big a deal. So if you wanna pay cash, I mean, by all means, go for it. But at the same time, for those of you who choose not to, or you're just not able to, don't feel bad about it. Because quite honestly, those people paying cash and they got it like that, they balling and they got all this cash and yet they just choose to drop the cash down on vehicles instead of financing them at a 0%, 1%, 2% interest rate. Um, they're throwing money away. That's not the smart financial move. You know, corporations and businesses finance and leverage large projects all the time. Uh, speed camera, engine braking. I don't know speed limit. I always forget what it is. I'm always braking for that camera and I don't really know what the speed limit is. I don't remember, I should say. That's not it. I'm trying to look back over my shoulder to catch the speed limit. Um, and then, you know, same deal. You know, the argument about used versus new bikes. Look, there's advantages to both. If you want to buy a used bike, um, by all means, do it. Um, especially if you're mechanically inclined, you're not worried about having to fix anything, or you've got a, got a friend who's a mechanic who can actually do a little bit of an inspecting on the bike prior to your purchase, you know, go for it. I don't advise brand new riders to buy used bikes. And I, and I know everybody says that in their videos, and I understand what they're saying in terms of, but they're, they're banking on you might not be serious about riding, and you might decide that, you know, it's not for you, and you're going to want to sell your bike, and they're just basically giving you recommendation based on the idea that you could buy a bike and then sell it for the same amount of money and not spend anything but you know to me if you're a new rider and you go through the trouble to put the money together to make that purchase of a used vehicle which most people don't finance the used bikes you can but most times they don't um, to go out and buy the bike you're serious and you're going to ride the bike and you're going to definitely you know, even if you buy a new bike, you're still going to be able to get good money back for it um, if you do decide not to ride after a year or two and you decide to sell it. Um, and the money you spend on the bike over the course of a year or two because you financed it or bought it, you know, cash, whatever, the, the, the depreciation in value is definitely worth the amount of time you spend on the bike and what you get from the experience. Um, and then you have a bike that you were the only owner, you know the history of the bike, you know the maintenance of the bike, you know the person wasn't doing nothing crazy with the oil changes and filter changes and such. So, you know what, that might be the service light because I haven't done my 600 mile oil change yet. Did I just trick? No, I'm at 1340. So I didn't just trigger any number. But, um, yeah. Find that, you know, new versus used, I recommend brand new riders go out, get a new bike. Um, but I do recommend you go with smaller bikes. If you are a um, small to medium sized person, and I'm going to just use men's weights because, uh, I mean, if you're watching this, you're probably a dude. Um, And, you know, I can say that because they give us the little metrics and stuff, the little information about our channels. If you're watching this, you're probably a dude. And so, um, if you weigh, let's say, under 180, anything under 180, you probably are going to be okay buying one of these 300s, which are usually like 289cc. You definitely can ride the bike on the street. Um, you might not be crazy about taking it on the highway. And I'm not talking about cruisers. We'll talk cruisers, a different topic. You want to ride a cruiser, go out, get a Rebel 500, get a, um, get a Harley Davidson. And the dirt is this way. It says no public access, but we're going to go this way anyway. Um, I don't, I think it's okay to go he through here. I'm not being a true jerk about this just kind of jerky um no you know get, if you're getting a cruiser get something with you know a little bit more cc to it but for sport bikes naked sports adv you know you can get something in that 
300 to 470 range definitely now if you have more weight to you if you're you know and, and i know i'm skipping between 180 and 200 you know you're just out there bro figure it out um if you're over 200 pounds and here's the gravel you can feel it when you hit the gravel you feel it in the bike oh, we're still in user one Crap, that wasn't what I meant to do. There we go, gravel mode. ABS is off now. But traction control is still on. Yeah, I actually rode all around here when I made the other video. I'm not going to do all of that this time. I'm just going to come back here. And I'm actually combining like three videos into one. And we're still about 10 minutes at this point. So 10 or 12 minutes. So I think it's going to work how I plan on doing this. Yeah, this gravel is sliding around. This is not the most friendly stuff to do so i don't know if what i planned on doing is going to work but we're going to try it anyway so the third video i did the financing and in, in new bike video and then i came and i rode around here in the gravel um all up and down the different little gravel trails and then i did some went to the other part well other part of the park and i did some figure eights and so now i'm seeing if i can do these figure eights on this lot notice these are some big turns and you'll see the difference i'm going to go to the uh, go back over there to the other parking lot and do the other figure eights i'm trying to see what i can get away with figure eight wise on the gravel i'm not comfortable that's just the reality so you guys can talk trash about me later but i promise you i don't care um actually i would enjoy it so comment below um What was the melt? What was I talking about? What, I, what was I saying? Uh, talked about new bike, old bike. Talked about finance, cash. We talked about, um, yeah, but get your bike. Finance it if you want to. Don't sweat it. Um, and also security. Um, I upgraded and by adding some additional locks and such you know, I think I mentioned in another video a couple of weeks ago somebody stole my cover for my bike so I bought a new cover it's actually a little bit nicer cover and um, paid like 22 bucks for it so I didn't break the bank I bought a U-lock kryptonite um, um, what was that like 35 bucks or something and then I bought something else some other security measure and um and i already had two disc locks uh, i remember this grass was here before so it's dry, definitely dry now and we rode on that grass down gravel down there to the grass that's over there but we're not going we could i'm not going to do that thing we went down there i'm not going to go down there today because i want to get these um figure eights in um we also did a little bit of standing up on the gravel which i feel okay this is fine it's just, what would it be, 20 miles per hour? That's not bad. Yep, slid out a little bit. Yeah, that gravel slick. I don't know about all that. Then we go to off-road, which is a little more power than gravel. The ABS is still off. Go to user one. And from user one, we are going to... We got 157 miles of range. Only 41 miles on the trip. Already lost two bars on the fuel. Yeah, that fuel gauge just plummets. It's one gallon that I've used and it's dropped to two. Well, I guess. Oh, no. I don't know. So now we're going to... And this is why you practice your U-turns and stuff. Because you get these little sharp turns like this that you want to be able to make. And... You know, and that was really slow, I get that. However, the speed limit up in this spot is 15 miles per hour, and I was doing 12 when I made that little turn. Um, the last video, I turned up through here, 
and remember one time I made a video I turned up in there and I couldn't get through or at least I didn't want to attempt it I did go through in the other video we'll do that another day so you can see what's up in there again um, I want to get over here and make these figure eights and I'm already pushing 20 minutes on this video and I didn't want to go that long um, I could edit it of course but where's the fun in all of that then we got the little S turns can lean the baby over sometimes you can go really wide so that you get an opportunity to really lean it when you turn although I didn't really lean it lean it I can't on this road um, and but this is gorgeous back here and the weather feels great it's about 60 low 60s right now um, it's still early I'm about to go in and get to work probably start work around eight o'clock today had a late meeting yesterday we did a six o'clock meeting that ended around seven because uh, I was talking to some folks on the west coast and we wanted to schedule it for three o'clock their time which you know I appreciate them taking the time even some people don't even want to do three o'clock meetings so the meeting went real well um, I felt like we got a lot of good information across to them. Yeah, standing up on this feels great, actually. Um, for my, so I'm 5'10". Um, I prefer to have a little bit of knee bend, probably a little more knee bend than most when I stand so that I can kind of sit back a little bit. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I wanted to get it down to two miles per hour for that roller stop, but it didn't quite get it down that low. We'll try that on the next one. Yeah, this is actually the speed limit in here. Uh, I could feel like I could run faster than this. I probably can. Um. So. Yeah, we're going to see how this looks um, visually. I think it's going to render a little bit better. I always want to go through this little circle over here. And there's always pedestrians in there. And I don't want to disturb them. But it looks like there's nobody down there right now. So we're going to go ahead and go through. Ah, uh, yeah. This is a better little way to get down to the parking lot. I like it. There's a little road I'm not supposed to go down that maybe would be fun to go down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It is a beautiful morning. It's supposed to be hot today. I think it's going to be close to 90. We'll see if it gets up that, that warm. Now, I could do these over here in the sun, or I could do them over there in the shade, and I'm not really sure how it's going to look any different to you. So one of the things I like to do, I like to go to the little edges of the lines and parking lots and pretend like they're cones and just weave back and forth as slow as I can. I pick it up the speed sometimes too. It's a little easier to do it fast and slow. If you can ride slow, you can ride fast. And so I do the little cones, imaginary cones, imaginary cones. By now I'm ready to quit, but I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of more. Once you're ready to quit, it's like lifting weights. When you're ready to quit, that's when you need to do a few more. That's when the real action kicks in. Okay. And then I like to come down here and do some figure eights. They're deep. My, tur my turns are not tight. I know that. I'll tighten them up with time. You know, I'm still in my third month with this bike. It is much larger than cinnamon. Um, we're at least at 500, probably a little over 500 with mods at this point. I haven't really put anything heavy on here yet. Um, I'm still looking for the, um, notice how I just kind of gradually moved all the way over. Okay, I, I actually touched the handlebar to lock for a second right there. I didn't hold it, but I touched it to lock. Let's see if I can get it this way. So I'm giving it a little bit of rear brake, and I'm also giving a little bit more throttle, 
the more rear brake, the more throttle, more rear brake, more throttle. I do have the clutch pulled in and I'm really trying to control my speed with the clutch. So did a couple of circles that time, a couple of full circles. Same deal the other way, and, it's a, and it feels different when you go left versus count clockwise versus counterclockwise, or left versus right. It feels different, so you have to practice both. And you'll actually start to get to the point where you feel more comfortable with one than you do with the other. I think I feel more comfortable going clockwise than I do counterclockwise. But the reality is you gotta modulate all the controls, the brake, the throttle, and the um, clutch and just try to get it to you know get the handlebar to lock lean the bike don't be afraid to lean the bike if it feels like it's tipping give it a little gas and you know practice makes perfect the more you do it the better you'll get at it it's really handy in parking lots it's really handy when you're at a dead end or whatever um I, as you see I'm, i am obviously much more comfortable doing this in the parking lot than i am on the gravel so I am going to spend more time getting it down on the gravel and eventually getting it down on the, uh, I'm not going to make that. And spending more time getting it down on the gravel standing up. That will be one of my goals. Um, I'm, I don't really love the tires, these Bridgestones. Um, and, I, you know, and I'm not knocking Bridgestone, you know, I know Bridgestone probably makes awesome tires. I use Bridgestone on cars sometimes. But um, I'm never crazy about OEM tires. The tires they sell you with the bikes when you buy them. Um, I did like my Pirelli Scorpions, Tr Scorpion Trails. However, I much better preferred the Tr Scorpion Trail 2s that I bought than the Scorpion Trail 1s that I originally started out with. So, definitely you know, let's take a break. Definitely um, think about the tires, practice in the parking lots, take classes. I'm going to be taking some classes later in the year. Um, and, you know, practice in all different conditions so that when things pop up on you, you're actually prepared and ready for it. So with that, we're going to sign off. Um, this did go a little bit over 20 minutes, but that's cool. We got like different topics and we got the financing and we got the new versus used. We got a little bit of gravel. We got a little bit of gravel um, circles and we got a little parking lot circles and figure eights. And then we got some nice little scenic shots of riding through the woods. So, you know, it's kind of like five or six videos in one. And so with that, rocket rolls over and out. Stop. What the heck? Did none of that get recorded? You gotta be kidding. I didn't record any of that. Ain't this some crap? I'm not going back around the block yet. Let me play with this first. <laughs>